A few more clouds move in, but still yeah. not a bad temperature out there. Very comfortable out yeah, and about. Nice. Uh, so far today, we've had a high of 70 degrees. That puts us about five degrees above average. Uh, but tomorrow, we'll warm it up another five degrees, but introduce more clouds. Right now, downtown temperature 68 degrees, dew point 47, wind out of the northwest at about eight miles per hour. Sunsets at 821, sunrise tomorrow morning, 554. So yeah, that was our high today, 70 degrees. A little bit cooler, Vancouver, 66. 66 also in Salem at the coast. Our daytime highs reached the upper 50s. Tillamook up to Astoria. Yeah, normal high is 65 degrees. So we're just a little bit above that and we'll be again tomorrow. We got it to 78 today, the Dells. So overall, more of a southwesterly flow, and that's going to help keep those temperatures up tomorrow, along with more clouds in the mix. Here's the next front still sitting offshore. We're also getting some lightning strikes northeastern Oregon. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and show you where that is at this point. So far, this is just a loop of the last couple of hours near Union, Baker City, also over towards Unity, John Day. That's where we're seeing a little bit of activity. And here, this is what it looks like right now as we look at Doppler radar. Right around Bonita, Ironside, and also Unity Forest State Park. Let's take a 3D look at what this particular cell looks like. We're seeing tops up to about 35,000 to 40,000 feet, uh, but these are very isolated cells coming through northeastern Oregon. They could become more widespread as we get to tomorrow, though. There is a chance for thunderstorms not only in eastern Oregon, but also central Oregon tomorrow, also on the east slopes of the Cascades. Then we widen that picture out for Sunday. Sunday now, a chance that thunderstorms exist not just for eastern Oregon and central Oregon, but all the way over to I-5, excluding the coastline. However, just keep in mind, if you're going to be at the beach this weekend, there's a chance for showers to come through pretty quickly, and that would most likely take place Saturday night into Sunday. Here we go with our short-term forecast, looking at all those clouds in the mix as we get through tomorrow afternoon. But that's not going to keep our temperature down. That's actually going to help that southwesterly flow, helps to aid in our temperatures moving into the mid-70s in our valley locations. Here we go, Sunday morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, and there's all that convective activity popping up along I-5 and also on the western slopes of the Cascades. That continues to shift eastward, northeastward. So then we got to talk about eastern Oregon having a chance for thunderstorms as well as we get into Sunday afternoon. And this particular cell also popping up right around Pendleton. Here we go. So just be aware of that if you're doing any outdoor activities, especially on Sunday. Be sure to have your head on a swivel there. Tulip Fest. That's right. This is your last weekend to check it out. Your temperature is tomorrow 74, Sunday 71 with that chance of rain for you on Sunday. Now, look at Monday's forecast. Not bad. 76, Tuesday 83, and then here we go with another huge drop in our temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. We return the clouds and the rain with another cold front approaching then, and 53 overnight, so very comfortable morning temperatures, but it's just those daytime highs. You'll see some really big swings again in the middle of next week. Yeah, so far May not bad compared to that kind of wet and cool April we had. Yeah. I'll take it now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks.